Joe, about Mike and, and what, what's kind of your feel for what he's got going on here? Uh, I think one of our coaches, uh, Anthony Levine, said it best. He's like having an OG in the locker room talking to you every day, but he's your head coach. And every time we're in a team meeting, he, the amount of knowledge he has of the game and the way he's able to detail and teach every position, um, as a player, you just love that. Even, even a vet in my age, you still love to be able to get coached like that and hear from somebody that has so much knowledge of the game. He's got a reputation already as being a great locker room guy, a good resource, a do, do anything kind of guy. How much yes, you pride yourself on being that type of player? Yeah, I'm just, I, I, this, is my, this is my job. This is how I feed my family. So I come in here with that mentality every day. Whatever this team asks of me, that's what I'm here to do. And I just want to help anybody else in the locker room do the same thing, especially with a younger team like this. How much special teams do you play? As much as they need me to. I love special teams. That's that's how I've been in this league this, as long as I have. So if they ask me to play special teams, I'm doing everything. What changed for you last year that you were able to, to be so much more productive as a receiver? Just the opportunities. I feel like I've always been a pretty good receiver, and I just had the opportunity to show the, the rest of the league that I am. So hopefully I just continue to build on that and grow. When you guys start out. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. It's good to see because it, it shows you that they're out here competing and they're not just happy with where they're at. They're not happy to be here. And they're also not scared that they have a veteran like D-Hop and older receivers in here. They just want to come out here and compete and show the coaches they can play. So that's what you want from them, for sure. Lead to me, you know, playing fast, playing physical, playing aggressive, you know, week to week. How busy is it to go against a guy like D-Hop and Hopkins every day? How much better is he going to make you make everybody? Uh, it's going to make me great. Um, you know, he's a great receiver. I already know he's proven in this league. And, um, you know, that's what I'm trying to get to, you know, be a great cornerback, um, get to, you know, our pro level, the Pro Bowls, you know, that he's been to. I'm not saying, you know, that's what I'm focused on right now, but that's what he's, you know, pushing me to. What do you think you guys did as a unit today, especially on the back end? Uh, I, I feel like we had a great day today. Uh, you know, we came with the energy, uh, and you got to have that even when it's not sunny outside, you know. We came out raining, and we came out with the same attitude that we're going to have all year. Uh, you know, and we, uh, we're going to set the tone, you know, for everybody on the team, you know, whether not just the defense, the offense, too. Christian, knowing that Harold Landry is going to be back for you guys this yeah. season, what what impact does that have on the entire defense, especially you guys on the back end? Uh, man, it's going to be great. You know, I know he's ready to get back out there. We got a lot of dogs out there on that front line. So uh, we're just going to make sure we uh, marinate the rushing and coverage. You know, that's going to be the main thing for us, doing our job on the back end. And we're going to let them eat. You know, we're going to eat off each other. Christian, do you feel different physically coming to stop uh -huh. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, uh, I feel like my my same self, you know, the same player that I've been. Obviously, uh, I may look bigger, you know, feel, you know, however I may look, whatever. But, I mean, I feel like the same player I was. Um, but I'm going to use my physical tools that I've gained over the offseason, you know, and definitely implement them to my game. Uh, more so uh, durability. I mean, last offseason I was coming off shoulder surgery, uh, and I was trying to gain my weight back, so that kind of played a part going into the season. Um, but I mean, I feel definitely feel stronger. I was able to, you know, work on everything this offseason. You know, upper body, lower body, uh, my stamina, all those things, you know, played a part this offseason. Thing we ask him to do, so he's continually getting better, and those guys are looking looking to him as a leader. Josh Wiley, I guess, would be one of those, being a rookie himself. Just give me an idea of what the rest of that room looks like as we click off the padded days and get towards the preseason. Well, the whole idea is for everyone to improve every opportunity we have when we come out on the field, and we can see moments of that. And so they're, they're challenging each other. Uh, it's a very good group of guys. They, they like each other. They get along well. They, they help coach each other. Um, and so it's a, it's a competitive room. Everybody's competitive. Everyone wants to play, which is, which is a great thing as a coach. And, but they help each other. Uh, and I think that's the biggest thing. And, and they're, they're certainly earning each other's trust. Uh, they're trusting one another and they're listening to myself. And, uh, Tim and, and what we have planned for them to do. Yep. Apologies if you've been asked this already, but Chig as a blocker, how have you maybe seen him uh, come along in that department? We saw what he was able to do as a pass catcher last season. What are the things that maybe you, you guys are hoping that he can take the next step in, maybe in terms of technique of, of being a blocker? Uh, taking the next step for Chig obviously will be the biggest thing is is the fundamentals and techniques, uh, like you mentioned, it's making sure my hands are tight inside because he he's fearless. He's going to come off the ball and he's he's going to 
go give everything he has in terms of being physical. Uh, he's proven that through the course of last season and thus far in pads. Uh, the big thing will be continuing to making sure uh, I'm taking the right proper footwork uh, that you may need in a particular play, getting your hands inside uh, and getting your hat in the right place, uh, understanding the concept of each play and where it's going and where he needs to be. So he's continued to work on that and, you know, obviously, Nothing's, we're never perfect, but you don't ever reach perfection if you don't strive for it. You know, what I'm used to back there, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's just football, you know, all the teams running past, so. But for you as an offensive lineman, you know, how, how much are you able to feed off of running the football? Uh, I mean, pretty good deal, you know. I'm getting better at it every day. They emphasize it a lot, and, you know, we, I feel like we work on it a good bit, and so. Overall, is your philosophy the run sets up the pass or the pass sets up the run? I just do what the play's called. Braves <laughs> talked about how tough it is for you guys up front. That all spring you're basically hitting pads, and then you get out here and suddenly you've got to take out moving lines. How long is that adjustment? You start over, I'm a little. Yeah, Braves talked about how all spring, yeah. TAs, everything, you guys are hitting pads, and there's not a lot of moving yeah. bodies and contact, and, and then you get out here and all of a sudden it's, it's full go. How, how long does that take to kind of adjust to um, I mean, you really just got to go and do it. I mean, simple as that. Like, you know, you're not wearing them, and then you're wearing them. I don't know. <laughs> like Today was the first day that you guys actually had, like, been out in the rain. You got some work in there. What's what's the difference in mentality going out in practice when you, you got to deal with the elements? Like I mean, that? for me, I love rain. It's like bringing a little bit of Washington to me. That's what I was saying all, all day this morning. But, you know, we heard some thunder and had to go in, which is understandable. But... You know, I don't mind the rain at all. I what, like it. What's the secret to playing well in the rain since you live there? Um, secret? I mean, you just got to be born in it, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. It's just, you know, you get, you play ball outside, you got to learn to deal with whatever the elements decide to, they're going to do. We've talked to you about this a little bit before, but just going up against a guy like Arden and just the kind of energy edge he brings, how does that kind of make you better? Yeah, Arden is... Extremely good player. We were really battling today, going against each other pretty much all day, every day. And, you know, he's got amazing, like, just tools that a, a defensive lineman would want. And, you know, he makes me better. I'm making him better. You know, it's like back and forth all day. Like, it's, it's, it's a war out there. So I, I appreciate him for, you know, the type of player he is and the juice he brings. So.